Why did you choose to work in consulting business? Well, first of all, I was interested in computers and I wanted I wanted additional technology. I knew that computers were going to be, and as we see today, I don't want to say I was prophetic, but you know, it, you know, it, it's every part, it's everywhere. And I felt it was important to understand. And along the way, in, in, in consulting projects along the way, uh, somewhere in the 70, 70 systems arena, I've been involved in the recasting or designing of system, business systems. Um, and that that time at Travelers gave me, you know, we were dealing with large software and large things, and they had a large technology, um, big big computers, and it gave me an opportunity to see and learn the ba super basics of how systems were being developed. And um, you now I know I took a chance. Uh, and it's interesting when I came to California, I. I interviewed a lot, um, but um, I wasn't getting the jobs because they scratched their head and they didn't know what to do with me about the consulting. I mean, the computers, what are you talking about? Again, this is a long time ago. Um, but I was lucky. I found a, a, a guy who, a partner in a firm who um, was the same as me. And again, it was sort of serendipitous. And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, it's paid off because both from an accounting perspective and a systems perspective, you have a better view of what's actually going on in the business. And then if you throw in communications and pay attention to the dynamics of the people around you, I don't want to say it gives you an edge up, but it gives you an edge in achieving the things. When I was in public accounting, I used to get surprised by the fact that many clients didn't understand financial statements and so we had to you know educate them and and you know and then when you're in crisis situations or other businesses people often don't understand reports they don't so many times they're using a report is in a way that wasn't meant for that report and uh, that report didn't add the value it needed to add so in helping companies grow and turn around and you know be be better in what they're trying to do um helping them understand the technology they have and helping them understand how to read that information or help create reports that really give them is is valuable it's like having a navigational tool that you don't know how to use it's sort of like you know on a boat you've got a got navigational tools compasses etc and you've got to be able to use them in the most appropriate way. And a lot of reporting didn't, didn't. And it was good for me to have that, that background.